Mike. I am here on the Gower Peninsula and today I am exploring the magnificent Three Cliffs Bay. So Three Cliffs is one of 30 beaches here on the Gower and alongside Rosilli is probably the poster card for the region and my personally favourite beach. Uh, hopefully this vlog can help you showcase why that is. Now parking for Three Cliffs is available in one of three spots. You can either park in the village of Park Mill. There's a large field and it costs £3 for all day parking. There's a couple of places to eat and drink there as well. From there it's a one kilometre walk through the gorgeous Green Valley. Alternatively you can park in the village of Penmine and walk down past Three Cliffs Holiday Park or you can park in the village of Southgate and walk across the golf course which I've done here. All three are great options and I can't choose between the three today. I've headed across here just to save time and so I can get back to my car a little bit easier. So first port of call for me is the wonderful Pennard Castle. I'm then gonna drop down and showcase what it looks like from the other side before exploring the three peaks itself. So first port of call, let's go. So I'm here at Pennard Castle. As you can tell, the views are simply stunning. So behind me is Pennard Pill, which is my favorite view on the Gower. And it's a GCSE geography teacher's wet dream with its winding lake, which will eventually become an oxbow lake and there'll be case studies galore. Anyway, Pennard Castle is 12th century Norman fort. It was originally built out of wood and then converted to stone. It's one of a hundred remaining castles here in Wales. Uh, and at one point, Wales did have 600 castles was known as the land of castles because it had more castles per square mile than anywhere else on earth. I've just said castles a hell of a lot. Anyway, I'm going to stick the drone up, uh, show you what it looks like from the sky, and then I'm going to head down, explore the beach, have a bit of a dip before getting up to the iconic Three Peaks. So I'm down here on the shingle shoreline of Three Cliffs Bay. Got Pennard Castle in the background. And if I spin it round, there are the iconic Three Peaks. Now, it's mid to high tide. Usually at low tide, this would be sand with the river Rhine winding all the way down. You could access probably about 60 to 70 meters past the Three Cliffs, but that's what makes Three Cliffs really unique. It's a river that winds down into the sea. As the sea comes in, floods the river, overspills its banks, and cuts off access between the two sides. Now, if you park to Penn Mine, you come down from over there, and you can access the shingle shoreline via a series of stepping stones. Now, <laughs> at mid to high tide, those stepping stones get covered with water and cut off. The only way to access this side then is going all the way upstream and crossing near Park Mill. So choose which side you park on very carefully and always check the timetables. As you can agree, those are absolutely stunning. Right, because I've been cut off, I'm gonna head up and take in the view from the iconic three cliffs before dropping down to Pobbles Beach, which is on the other side, and going for a bit of a swim. So I'm up here on the dune covered headland, which separates three cliffs from the neighboring Pobbles Bay. So at low tide, they actually become one, but as the tide comes in, it cuts them off to become two separate bays. <sighs> as you can tell, the views are absolutely stunning, especially now at high tide. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now this is probably one of the best views in the Gower. It's absolutely stunning. Across to my left is uh, Three Cliffs Holiday Park. So that's probably the best view in the Gower if you're looking to camp. Uh, and parking for Penn Mine is over that side. Absolutely gorgeous. So 
So I've actually meandered on to the Three Cliffs itself. Uh, this 20 meters high and made out of limestone, really popular with rock climbers. And there's actually a natural archway uh, beneath the biggest one, which you can walk directly through at low tide. Absolutely incredible. Sun setting over there behind the cloud. Just stick the drone up, see what it looks like from the sky. And then I'm going to pop down to uh, Pobbles over that way, have a swim before enjoying the sunset. Stunning views. So the sun has set on the majestical three cliffs behind me and what an evening it's been. Uh, absolutely bluebird, got roasted by the sun, cooled off in pobbles and then was treated to an absolutely insane sunset. Uh, one thing to note that Three Cliffs is a dark sky location away from the bright lights of Swansea so if you're into your astrophotography I'd recommend coming down and snapping a few here. I'll stick a few shots that I've taken over the years up now. But yeah, anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked it, chuck us a thumbs up. Uh, if you're feeling really generous, throw us a subscribe. Until next time, Dior Bau.